I've been playing the career mode franchise for over four years now and during that time I've done a lot of things wrong. That's why today I'm going to show you 10 tips and tricks to help you dominate AAFC 24 career mode. First up, I know it's boring but it has to be done. Attending press conferences are essential in keeping players morale high as well as club morale. And I know you hate doing it, I do too. But it's only three questions. And bonus tip, if you press both shoulder buttons on your controller, you can skip the bit in between. On a similar note, answering your player's messages and taking action on them is pretty essential. Say your player wants to play the next game. Why not start him to boost his morale? Small things like this can really boost player morale and club morale, keeping you in your job. Now the next thing is something not many people actually do. And the crazy part is, if you do, you can end up with the next Messi in your team. And that is investing in your youth academy. Sending out your scouts every so often has the potential to find young players that are out of this world. And the best part is, all these potential wonder kids can be signed from a couple million all the way down to as low as 90 grand, with their wages being even less than a grand. The countries I would recommend scouting from are Central Europe countries, as well as Argentina and Brazil. These lot of countries have a far higher chance of finding a gem compared to North America, Asia and Oceania countries. When looking at the scouting report itself, personally I would recommend going for someone with a high potential of at least high 80s. And then once you have him, if he's old enough, I would promote him and attempt to loan him out to get some game time. I would avoid keeping these wonder kids in Youth Academy because in the actual Youth Academy, they don't grow as much as they would if they were playing for a senior team club. The next thing is something that lots of people neglect and the consequence of that is getting the a sack. Completing objectives is a huge factor to whether you get sacked or not. I know it's boring, I know you don't want to sign three players from North Korea, but trust me, if you could at least complete a couple of them, it could double, maybe triple the likelihood of you keeping your job. Before we keep going, if you've enjoyed, why not hit the subscribe button? Anyway, next up is again something that's long, something that's boring, but if you truly want to be getting the best out of your players, you need to be doing this, and that is putting them on a development plan. How you do this is by going over to Squad Hub and choosing a development plan and then picking what plan you actually want them to be on and if you don't know what plan to put them on just choose out random but just make sure it's not balanced you can even change the position of players you want Maguire striker stick them up front watch them win the golden boot and finally the most important advice I could give anyone anyone playing the game whether you've been playing for 21 years or just starting today the most important advice I could give you is this win games well, like, I'm not lying, you don't want to be losing games, <clears throat> like Chelsea. If you want to find out how to actually win games, click this video here, which will tell you how to get ahead of 99% of other players. Thank you for watching, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you next time. See ya!